Ashley, thank you. Arming yourself against the Zika virus. That is the message this morning following a big announcement from the CDC that pregnant women should avoid traveling to a specific neighborhood in South Florida. Yeah, it's in Miami-Dade County, just north of downtown. They call it the Wynwood Arts District. Officials are also urging expectant moms who frequent the neighborhood to get tested for Zika. 14 people are believed to have been infected by Florida-born mosquitoes. Local officials are asking you to be prepared. Channel 4's Ashley Harding joins us live from McCoy Creek. Ashley, you talked to someone with mosquito control here in Jacksonville. Are they being proactive? They are being very proactive. Now, they're not doing anything different in terms of day-to-day -day operations, but they are staying in touch with the state. But they want people to be aware. It really is all about education. They want people to be cognizant of standing water around their homes. Also, use your bug spray. Now, we did speak to an expectant mother. She is being especially careful. Local, state, and federal officials are pushing awareness and action when it comes to protecting citizens from the Zika virus. That's advice Alexis Tubell is taking seriously. Her baby's due in just a couple months. It's definitely scary to think about it since before hearing this, most of the cases were travel related. So, you know, you had not that you didn't have anything to worry about, but it was less of a, a risk, really. It's a lot more concerning now. John Shellhorn with Jacksonville Mosquito Control says the agency is collecting mosquitoes and sending them to the state for testing. So far, those tests have come back negative for Zika, but still he's urging people to be aware of standing water. Ground zero for mosquito breeding. It can be anywhere near your home. Also, in terms of prevention, this particular mosquito only needs a very minute amount of water, a tablespoon of water, and they can breed. And they tend to stay very, very close to where they come off. Something else to think about, travel in our area. Mosquito control workers are spraying around hotels and attractions in an effort to keep visitors safe. Richard Goldman is with St. Augustine Ponte Vedra and the Beach Convention and Visitors Bureau. One of the things they began was an outreach several months ago talking to our attractions and our hoteliers, letting them know how they can do some things to avoid um, mosquito uh, larvae breeding and that sort of thing. And something I wanted to show you right here, this is a picture of a discarded tire. This is actually one of the most notorious places for water to get in and for mosquitoes to breed. I shot this picture just a couple weeks ago when we were doing a different kind of Zika story. You would be surprised really at how many of these are just laying on the side of the road or even in people's yards. And when it rains, the water gets trapped in there because of the way that that tire is shaped. But of course, it really is all about education. Definitely wear your bug spray and if possible, Possible. Also wear long sleeves as well. I know it's hot out, so that's maybe easier said than done, but it's definitely something to consider. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, thank you for an interactive map of the Wynwood area down in Miami-Dade County. Where this virus is active, go to our web channel, newsforjax.com. You'll also find a map of cities at the highest risk for a Zika epidemic. Just look inside this story on the homepage.